Hi, welcome to MicroCap Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about the inverting amplifier from the operational amplifier. So you start by clicking the operational amplifier um, icon up here, and then you put down the part. You can choose LF147. That's a pretty good selection. And then uh, for the for the inverting amplifier, you're going to place the non-inverting terminal to ground potential, and then you're going to be adding the feedback resistances and the source input to uh, the inverting terminal. So we're going to select this as RF because that's the feedback resistance. We're going to choose 2K as its value. And then now we're going to um, choose an input resistance at 1K and we're going to call it RI. The ratio between RI and RF for the feedback resistance and the input resistance uh, is going to create a gain for us because uh, this is some type of control system that's going to be um, it's going to be adding or multiplying the signal in some way. So this is all you really need for an inverting amplifier using operational amplifiers. Uh, there are other ways to do it, but you have the input over here, and then that's going to be a sign source. So we're just going to choose that real quick. So here we go. Sign source, connected. And you choose the 1 megahertz model, but you can choose any frequency that you want to. It's 100 hertz and 100 millivolt signal. So then we're going to ground that, and then we will add that to the input. And what we should expect out of the circuit based on this equation, we could go through the proof, and maybe we will in another episode or another video, but today uh, we're just going to focus on how you would use this practically. And here you have the uh, ratio between the RF and the RI, or the feedback resistance, and that creates a gain. So 2K divided by 1K is going to be 2. So we can expect that the outcome or the, the output voltage is going to be twice as large as the input voltage with a sign change or a 180 degree phase change. So if we run the simulation, let's see what we get. So we have a 100 millivolt signal up at the top and then we can see that the 180 degree phase change occurs in the output and it reaches twice as high and twice as low. Uh, so these, this circuit performs as we would expect it to. Uh, there are other ways of drawing it, so there's some schematic variance in what you might see. Sometimes they will put the plus sign down here and the minus sign up there, and they will leave the power supply terminals plus and minus. Sometimes you'll see the plus down here and the minus up there, depending on where this minus or, or inverting terminal ends up. But um, all of these circuits are, are equivalent. It uh, just depends on how you want to um, draw them schematically. Um, some are a little bit more aesthetic uh, looking. Um, so. Uh, that's really all there is to it. Uh, thanks for, for checking in today, and I'll see you next time.